When an infant is born to a mother who is infected with the sexually transmitted disease, gonorrhea, that infection can pass from the mother to the infant um, during the process of giving birth. So the infection um, infects the eyes of the, of the infants, and in the first few days um, of, of life, then that eye infection can become so severe that it can cause blindness. So usually the treatment is antibiotics. But our concern is that more and more strains of Neisseria gonorrhea are becoming antibiotic resistant. So that's why we have this project with Sparks, is to find alternative treatments for antibiotic resistant gonorrhea. Our research project is looking at some non-antibiotic treatments that will kill gonorrhea quickly, rapidly killing the gonorrhea bacteria in a way that is non-irritating to the eyes. We have a unique situation here at Kingston in that Ray Delaney and myself are both here together. Um, I have my expertise in Neisseria gonorrhea and he has his in um, drug delivery to the eye. And we've really been able to, to put those two expertise together to be able to combat this really important disease. Identifying a molecule that can kill the bug is good, but coming up with a, an eye drop or an eye ointment or a clinical package that you can give to the child to use is, uh, is where we come into and where our expertise fit in best. This Sparks project will be able to treat um, infants worldwide. It isn't just something that is going to help the infants in the UK, but it will help infants born around the world. Our generation has had antibiotics and that era we're seeing come to a close and this sort of research is going to be vitally important.